Ladies and gentlemen, we actually have some pretty big news surrounding the next Nintendo console. The Nintendo Switch 2, the Switch Pro, or whatever your heart desires to call this thing. You know Nintendo has their own event coming up in September in Seattle, and I kind of feel like that's when we're going to get the first information surrounding this thing. And I have some evidence today that's kind of going to back up my theory. My name is Robot Joe and I'm your host as always. Let's go ahead and get started. The Switch is in its 7th year. It's been a great console. It came to do what it needed to do. It revived Nintendo as a company. But if I'm being honest, it's kind of time for something new. And I think uh, we might have some evidence proving that that's just on the horizon. More evidence suggesting that a next generation Nintendo console could be on the horizon surfaced online earlier this week in a form of a vague yet still informative job listing. This is a job listing out of Japan, so that kind of even gives it more strength. This development arrives just a few months after one industry insider shared some alleged system specs of the Nintendo Switch successor. The latest piece of evidence suggests that a new Nintendo console is drawing near isn't as definitive, although it still manages to be informative in its own right. A job listing for an embedded system developer based out of Japan advertises a temporary opening for a senior engineer that would support a famous game company based out of Kyoto in wrapping up work on a next generation console. As you guys know, Nintendo is based out of Kyoto. Seeing how Nintendo is the only Kyoto based company with a contemporary track record in console development, there's little doubt as to who is behind this newly surfaced job ad. Development of a next generation game consoles, hearing explaining and adjusting requirements from customers, creating detailed design documents and unit test specifications based on hearing content, blah 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 blah, I'm not going to read all this. In principle, this is a long term dispatch job. Renewable for three months, work to two to three days a week, other days can be handled remotely. Security is important to us, so when you come to work, you will work in a dedicated security room in the client's Osaka office. They can watch every single thing that you're doing. You're not getting out any information. When working from home, you will work on a dedicated PC loaned to you by the client. Again, that PC that you're using, they're monitoring every mouse click, anything you do on the screen, they're making sure this information does not get out. You will be involved in the development and modification of next generation hardware for a famous game company. Holy shit, dude, that's Nintendo. Development is done in a dedicated security room. The biggest takeaway from the listing isn't its origin, but the fact that job requirements mentioned in the ad include handling post-release defects. Like this thing is wrapping up. This shit's pretty much done. And adjusting requirements from customers, which possibly refers to working in some kind of focus group. I'm sure there's some kind of insider Nintendo hardware focus group. They probably just pass a console around, make notes on it, stuff like that. Regardless, both of the rules, descriptions, items imply that the console in question is inching toward release. This implication also dovetails with an early May report that narrowed down the potential release of Nintendo's new console, stating that the system will not launch before spring 2024, but it's coming along nicely. I'm guessing this would launch summertime next year. I mean, the holidays are right following after. We have Nintendo event Seattle in September, and the only way to get into that event is actually through a raffle by Nintendo themselves. You have to sign up with your Nintendo account, and then you get picked to come to the event so you can't like get tickets and resell them scalp them whatever which is really cool i myself have entered this raffle and if i do get picked to be able to get a ticket i'm flying to seattle because i think that's where we're going to get this information fingers crossed that i get picked for that raffle but ladies and gentlemen the switch pro i'm calling it the switch pro for now because i don't think they're gonna the switch ip is just too strong to switch to something new now it's definitely switch to switch pro super switch some shit like that but what do you guys think? Are you excited for a new Nintendo console? Somebody just commented on one of my videos and said that they just got a Switch OLED. They're sad that it's like the end of Nintendo's life cycle. I was like, dude, don't be sad. Now you don't have to wait for any games to come out for the Switch. They're already all out. That's the best time to get a console if you never had one. In the comments below, do you think this is a new Switch? Do you think they'll change the name to something else? Will you be picking this up? Do you even have a Switch? Do you even care? Start a conversation below. And before we get out of here, you. Yes, you the viewers. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing and everything. It means the world to me. I can't believe this channel's growing uh, and it's an amazing feeling. So thank you. You guys know me. I'll see you soon with a new video. Peace out.